Hey fam, see I got my sun hat on. It's uh, spring, so getting started on some planting and getting the yard right. Um, <laughs> so everything's starting to wake up around me, so I'm making sure to uh, try to honor that. Uh, and one of the ways that uh, I'm doing that this year is um, planting some um, uh, fruits and vegetables this year. Uh, I've done that before, as we talked about with my tomatoes and that type of thing, but I'm actually putting them in a raised bed this year. So um, it's going to build it, get my carpentry skills together, but uh, you know me, I don't like to reinvent the wheel. So what I did is I went to Lowe's and I ordered a, a couple of um, raised beds that are galvanized. And the reason that I wanted steel, uh, galvanized steel, is that it's rust resistant for one, but it's also... Um, because uh, you got rust versus rot, right? So wood is going to rot, the even pressure treated wood versus the um, uh, versus uh, galvanized steel, which may rust, but it's more rust resistant. I'll show you in a minute some of the resistance that's here uh, on these um, particular um, beds. So, uh, well, as you see, those are the panels up there, and you can see all of the screws. Got a screw bag that's quite heavy <laughs> that I've been working through, but um, been on a couple hours already. I'm almost done. I just got to put the side panels on. I put everything together, and I just got to put these uh, that side panel right there. It's got to fit into those um, end butts, uh, if you will. So the way that it's configured now, I will configure it with. Uh, it's going to be three and a half again by six and a half feet. So it's closer. A match for this one which is a three foot by three foot want to kind of have two separate beds so I can separate certain things from each other um, so that uh, I don't have like uh, big herbs uh, contaminating the uh, fruits and or vegetables that I have here as you can see this one is actually uh, not only galvanized but it's painted it costs a little bit more you can see the outside there um, I'm just putting these joints together so it looks a little buckly but it'll be tight like this when I'm done um, and then that one is all galvanized, it's unpainted. Uh, so we'll see uh, which one holds up the longest. But uh, again, galvanized steel has a rust resistance, which uh, you're gonna need in Florida. And it'll, it'll, I think it'll last longer than the wood. Um, I've seen too many videos of people having to tear down their wood uh, planters and rebuild them, uh, which isn't totally a bad thing, but uh, I'm just being prepared for um, the, I say the worst. So I'm gonna put them together like this, I'm gonna put a little space between here so I can walk between them. Uh, another thing is that my house faces, um, my house faces uh, uh, north-south. So that's north, that's south. So the sun, um, I'm pointing, but you can't see me. So behind me is north, in uh, front of me, the way I'm looking now is south. And then the sun goes across my house this way from east to west. Uh, so it's uh, four o'clock, or excuse me, it's uh, two o'clock right now in the afternoon. So the sun is, of course, over here in the sky. So it goes from here in the morning. And this part of the yard um, it was the most open part of the yard that had full sun. So I want to make sure that that's available. There's also some lightweight irrigation that's over here. At least I have sprinklers so that I can um, uh, get that done if I need to and uh, not too far away from the hose. I was going to put it closer to the house, but I walked out this morning and I saw the shab big palm tree and the corner of the house. Basically, um, that whole area right there is uh, shaded. Um, so this area is not, even though I've got this uh, juvenile oak here that uh, is still growing, but I can always prune him back, whereas I can't prune back the house. I can prune back the, uh, the palm tree, but it's still going to provide some um, measure of shade uh, during the day. So I want to make sure that I had an open space that didn't have anything accounted for. Kind of move it back a little bit this way so that I can get, again, um, some more uh, flexibility and freedom and placement in the yard. So this is exciting. This is one of those post-COVID <laughs> post, uh, projects um, that uh, hopefully will literally bear fruit um, for myself and my family um, so that we can start and again, part of it also starting now is again, getting the yard cleaned up, making sure that I get everything cut down. I'm going to add some more, uh, I think I'm going to add another feature to the yard this year besides these beds. Um, perhaps like a, like I did over there with a, added a secondary patio there. Um, I'm thinking this year that I'm going to add another secondary patio underneath this pergola 
and then a couple of walkways to connect them all. Um, I even got some space underneath the tree because it has natural shade that I can add there. Uh, just adding some entertainment zones, number one, but also uh, cutting back on the amount of grass that needs watering um, and cutting. So uh, those are some of the things I'm working on now. I also got to go out and, uh, again, clean up my back uh, uh, patio. And I'm also considering extending it, so taking it from... Uh, ends right there uh, where that window beam is kind of going to take it a little bit further out um, just with some uh, uh, gray pavers or white pavers like those put some stone in there just to give a little bit of a landing place for that and then perhaps even a walkway back this way so some of the projects I'm contemplating that I'm putting on paper right now to try to work out I always put them on paper um, that I have a cohesive plan um, document it, uh, not just for me, but for anyone else that's going to follow. So that's what I'm working on today, guys, is this, um, this planter. So hopefully it comes out right.